Oh, hey y'all. How's it going? Fatty here, and thanks for joining me on the channel that is guaranteed to make your skin look younger and clearer with twice daily use. And today, I am bringing you the how to solo tame a basilisk, and let's not waste any more of your time and jump straight into it. So when it comes to taming a basilisk, you got really three options of where you can go. You can either go to Crystal Isles, which is always my favorite one. Crystal Isles is just like the best map to go to pretty much for almost anything that you need to do. You can also go to Genesis, which is not a really bad one. It's anywhere kind of in the, the, volcanic, the volcanic area. You can really find them there. Super easy. And then you can also go to Aberration, which Aberration is, unless you're going for metal, is complete trash. So don't even bother there. Don't even think about Aberration. Just take that ball it up and throw it in the trash. So for me, I always like to go to Crystal Isles. Crystal Isles is definitely going to be the best one for you to go to. But the one caveat to that is you're going to need Magmasaur eggs or Rock Drake eggs. And those can only be found on, again, Gener Genesis or Aberration. So for this one, I'm going to show you the really quickest, easiest way to get Magmasaur eggs. And that is going to be go to Gen Genesis and go get yourself a kangaroo. Now, when you get a kangaroo, all you got to do is go down into the volcano where all the Magmasaurs are. And if you don't really know where that is, I'm not going to go over that too heavily in this video, but I do have another video that shows how to get Magmasaur eggs and how to tame that. So just go ahead over to that video. But for this one, this just general pit you just go in like kind of one of the main entrances and you just go jump down you're gonna see a bunch of magmasaurs just hop off your kangaroo grab two or three you know just grab as many as you can and then just jump out you know teleport out bring those back to your base and then come back and grab some more eggs if you just really waste too much time doing this it's just not gonna be a good time for anybody and you're gonna get lost so just get in get out grab those eggs and then you're good to go now that you've done that that is like one of the hardest parts of this entire thing to do then it's just really two more steps you got to go find a basilisk and you got to get a shoulder pet. Now, when it comes to basilisks, they are not the best on aggroing on things unless you're on the ground. If you're anywhere in the air, it just doesn't want to aggro to you right. And then it won't want to like, you know, eat the eggs and do the whole taming process. And I, you know, I like to do most things on foot. So when you find one, what you're going to do is just kind of fly above it, you know, take a wyvern, snow owl, bloodstock, or whatever you want. Just kind of get above it. And once you kind of see the general location it is, check the level, yada, yada, you're good. Then you're running to go just a little ways away from it and throw your shoulder pet down and put a little box around it. And this is just to kind of keep the, the aggro on, you know, something that isn't you and to kind of protect your shoulder pet as well. So once you do that, all you're going to need to do is take all those delicious eggs that you found and just throw them all over the place. Now, I did this on MTS, um, which is a really popular server. And for me, it took three three eggs for a 150. So just use that on, on your server just to kind of base it off of that. Always look at your rates. You can always look at Dodo decks or anything like that. But generally, I even found like on a small tribe. So when I was back in that in the day, it only took like, I think four or five eggs to do it. And it takes a little bit, but you're not going to need a ton, a ton of eggs is the point. So if you've got four or five eggs, you're going to be definitely able to get like a breeding pair or something like that. So anyways, once you have that set up, you have the box, you have your shoulder pet in there. All you're going to need to do is drop your eggs and then just kind of guide it over there. Now, the basilisk is really really mean and it's going to spit and it's not going to want to really aggro on you very well. So what you got to do is get off your off your flyer, kind of park it away and just go on foot. Once it starts chasing you, just beeline for your for your shoulder pet. Now, what I always like to say is have at least about 160 movement speed. I always put mine about 175. That's just where I like to play as a as a PvP character. But if you have at least about 160, you should be able to outrun the basilisk fairly, fairly easy. And when you do, just kind of spin around the the little box that you created until you see him look like he's about to spit, but he'll kind of do like what it looks like with real snakes, like eat an egg, where they kind of like tilt their head up and they're just like, whoa. <laughs> try to get that egg down so when you see that what you want to do is just run away kind of put in k mode kind of look around see your back make sure it's not following you but if you did it right and if you leave soon enough after it kind of does the animation it's just going to want to stay there it's going to be angry at the shoulder pet and not you if you got far enough away and it'll just stay there and eat the eggs and it'll just be a happy little camper and that's all you really got to do. It's super easy. You don't even really need to build a trap or anything elaborate like that. Um, when I built the stone box, I didn't even put a, a top on it. I just put down a couple walls because we were just kind of rushing through it, really just trying to get it done as fast as possible. And it worked out extremely, extremely well. I will put at the end of this video some of the footage of like us actually physically doing it. So you kind of have an idea of what that looks like and how to go about it. But I hope this gives you all the information you guys are going to need to tame one for yourself. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button 
and always comment and subscribe. We are almost to 5K, which is just insane. You know, halfway, almost to the halfway mark to getting that first subscriber play plaque, which is just like mind blowing to me. So awesome. Please guys do subscribe, share it with a friend, anything like that. It always helps the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. It's out. It's gonna come. Yeah, whenever you get off, it comes. my guy yep. gonna kill you <laughs> Uh, doof, yeah, I was about to say, I was about to unmute, I was talking to you, um, talking to my wife. I think being on foot is the way to go. 
I think yeah. it doesn't stay aggroed quite right when you're running around on like a, a mount, especially oh. a flying mount.